Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm going to show you how I've been doing my foundation routine to get a really nice radiant and glowing complexion. First, I'm going to apply my Derma E Hydrating Mist. I like to spray this on my face before I do my makeup to give me a little more moisture and your makeup will just kind of go on a little bit more smoothly. When your face is hydrated, your makeup looks a lot better. And then for my primer, I'm using the Mineral Fusion Color Correcting Primer. This is amazing for redness. My skin gets pretty red, as you can see. So I like to apply this with my fingers. I find that when I apply my primer with my fingers, it just warms up the product and helps it to blend into your skin a lot better and you get no streaks or anything like that. Moving on to my foundation. So I want my skin to shine through. So I'm using the Mineral Fusion Sheer Tint Foundation because this gives a really pretty glow to the skin. It's a little bit dark for me right now, so I'm mixing it with the Makeup Forever HD, which is a little bit too light for me. So these will give me the perfect color, and the Makeup Forever gives me a little bit more coverage. So I'm just applying a light layer all over my skin so that you're getting the coverage but your skin will still, you'll still be able to see your skin. It's not like you're going to completely mask your face with foundation. So now I want a little bit more of a glow, so I'm using the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer and mixing in a little more of my Makeup Forever foundation with this because I need to lighten up my foundation a bit more. So when I'm using the Josie Marin product, I like to just mix this in with my foundation and apply it all over my skin. You can just spot apply this to certain areas you want more highlighted, but for me, when I want a radiant complexion, I want my entire face to glow because then it just looks like your skin is shining through. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Gabrielle concealer for underneath my eyes because this is very lightweight and it doesn't look cakey or anything. And then the Mineral Fusion is perfect for pimples, breakouts, areas of redness. It's a little bit thicker, so when I want to, you know, have a little bit more coverage, that's what I use. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that right in the hollow of my under eyes to give me a little more coverage. And then I blend this all out with my little baby beauty blender. This is so nice for underneath your eyes because it makes everything look so smooth and you won't have any lines. You can't even tell you have under eye concealer on. Now I'm taking some concealer and putting it where I need it. So areas of redness around my nose, I get pretty red, and then just any pimples I have. And I don't apply this perfect at first, I just put it on, and then I'll go back in with my little beauty blender to blend it all out. Moving on to powder. So I'm setting everything in place with the Pacifica Perfect Lotus Powder. I'm using a the pointed foundation brush to kind of spot, apply that right underneath my eyes. And then I'll apply everything else with just a big fluffy brush so that my foundation will stay in place. I really like this powder. It gives a little bit of coverage. It has a little tint to it and it gives a really nice natural finish. For bronzer, I'm using the Alima Pure Radiant Finishing Powder. Oh, this is amazing. If you guys haven't purchased this yet, you need to put this on your list. This gives a gorgeous glow to your skin. It makes your skin look alive and fresh and glowy. Whenever I just want my skin to wake up, this is what I use. So I apply it like I would a, a bronzer. It is just a finishing powder, 
but I apply it to my temples, my cheekbones, down my neck, and it is the best. Next for highlight, I'm using the Pacifica Golden Lotus Powder. I'm using this because it gives a really natural glow to your skin. I don't want something that's too intense because for this look I want it to be pretty natural and just like your skin is glowing. So I'm applying this to the tops of my cheekbones, up to the temples, down my nose, and also a little bit on the cupid's bow just for a nice sheen. And for my cheeks, I'm using NARS Luster, which is the perfect peachy golden color. It looks so natural and just gives your cheeks a beautiful, luminous glow. And for lips, I'm using the NYX High Voltage Lipstick and Flutter Kiss, one of my favorites. I like to use this for just a day lip color because it kind of looks like my lip color, but a little bit you know, a little bit more intense. It's very smooth, comfortable on your lips. It's really good. And to set everything in place, I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I have to use this no matter what. It makes my makeup last all day long and then it takes away any powder look that your makeup will give you and leave your makeup looking a lot more natural. It kind of just looks like your skin. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All products that I mentioned will be listed down below in the info section. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon. <laughs> what? I gotta get an envelope. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I get an envelope? <laughs> hey guys, I'll tell you all about this, uh, this foundation later, okay? <laughs> Envelope, Scott. Andrew just keeps coming into the room, <laughs> messing me up. <laughs> Are you leaving now? Yeah. Goodbye. Okay,